Back in 1928, the RCA Radio 60 represented the top of the technology, the best you could buy. And for $239, you get the radio, speaker, and also your tubes. Cast metal dial plate is rather intricate, has flower designs on it. And if you look right in the middle, you'll see the dial, all the various mockings. It actually goes just from 0 to 100. It didn't actually put station numbers on there at that time so when you found a station regardless of what the frequency was you just put down what number on the scale that you have on your radio corresponded to that particular frequency this particular radio this RCA radiola also has a little lamp at the very top there it shines down on top of the dial scale a little toggle switch just turn it on We're waiting for the radio to come up now. The tubes have to warm up. And you should hear something coming uh, on frequency shortly. This is nighttime. We have about a 20 foot antenna on here. And we're in a basement. So we'll be lucky to get two or three stations at most. Hear a little bit of hum there. The capacitors are still in pretty good shape in this unrestored radio. Sounds like a ball game. Up the volume. Let's tune around a little bit. Around here, depending upon the time of day, we get stations from. Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and New York. I think they just wanted to vent, and now he's back at the dugout. You don't have to give Josh Sentinel. I'm originally a Chicago girl myself, so I'm stunning in the remote culture realm. No, but I like Jacksonville. You know, I visit eventually going back to Jacksonville, but I go there once or twice a year. Um, you know, I go to an event there. Middle of the fifth, the race so we have the volume control on the left, on the far right is the on off switch, and the tuning dial in the middle. That tuning dial is connected to three ganged air variable capacitors, which was a big advancement at that time. Usually radios had three tuning dials. Let's take a look inside. Lift the hood. You can see the air variable capacitors on the right, three of them, all moved together. Can you see the tubes? These tubes are called globe style tubes. Look carefully, you may even be able to see the RCA logo on each one. Power supply area. And way in the back is a little label that indicates that this was made by Jamestown Mantle Company in Jamestown, New York. All they made was the cabin. Here's our speaker. Original AR100, which is a speaker you might want to buy at that time if you purchase this radio. This particular speaker has a replacement grill cloth, which is not exactly the correct pattern. Advertisement from the time, you'll notice that they're uh, pushing an entire radial or line of super heterodyne radials. These are radials that have the most advanced circuit for receiving stations. Circuits still used. And down the lower left hand corner, you see the loss leader, which is the radial or 60. I'm going to tune over. A uh, frequency range and see how many stations we get. This is daytime, about noon. And I've got right around the indicator of 94. You're a religious station. Let's move along here. Let's see, it's about 84 on the dial there, that's Boston.
This is Providence. Six three zero WPRO. We're going to go twenty four hours without a drink. All right, sweetheart. I know. I knew you was going to make fun of it. Not at all. But you know what? I've been wanting to tell somebody, and it's the truth. And hey, you got your wish back. That's what I'm here for. Sweetie. Make wishes come true. Thanks, sweetie. Enjoy the day. Listen, folks. That's going to do it. Enjoy this beautiful Wednesday. This is John the Green Show. We'll be back tomorrow morning. This is Rhode Island Station of Record. News Talk 630. WPRO. Providence. Hi, Noon. Coming up straight ahead, we'll talk to former MLB Commissioner Faye Vinson about A-Rod Biogenesis. The investigation, his thoughts, that's next after the update. Here's Mick Listen to Boomer and Carton mornings from 6 to 10. But Lingo and Roberts middays from 10 to 10. I believe that's New York. The afternoons from 1 to 6.30. Exclusively on your flagship station for Mets baseball, Giants football, Devils hockey, and Nets basketball. The fans. Sports Radio 66, and now on your FM dial at 1019, WFAN and WFAN-FM, New York. Hudson County Sheriff Frank Shalori says the driver, Idu Darmola, was not paying attention. We don't know if he was texting or talking on the phone. Do you not know where that one's from? Again, around here we receive Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Connecticut, and New York. There you go. WOR New York. That station's been around a long time. Forty-nine on the dial. We don't know which station. ABC. That would be New York, also. I think. I'm senior Medicare Patrol volunteer. Our program, through by Medicare and the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, helps seniors learn to protect. designed to help banks stop serial fraudsters have left a million mostly low-income Americans effectively blacklisted. That's WCBS in New York. Says Paw Sox Radio Network, so that's in Rhode Island. This is a local station. Had to reduce the volume quite a bit. And so we'll leave it there. Rather good daytime reception. Selectivity is excellent. Sensitivity, not so bad.
This is an old magazine advertisement for Radio 60. And the next frames that you see will be the radio in operation at night with no lights on. Please go to my blog site, kb1awv.com, for additional information on old radios and amateur radio and various other topics. Thanks so much for watching. Radio R60.